In this problem, we have a partnership consisting of two members. It's got Messalina, who has a capital balance of 210, and Romulus, who has a capital balance of 140,000. And in the problem, Claudius is going to invest $100,000 into the partnership, and he expects to get a 20% ownership out of that. But in this problem, we're using the bonus method. Basically, you start out by figuring out the excess bonus, and the excess bonus is equal to capital of the newcomer, his ending capital balance, minus his payment in. And what is the capital of the newcomer? Well, that's equal to the resulting partnership balance, the total capital in the partnership, times the newcomer's share. And that uh, the partnership's ending balance is 350. So just sum that and that plus the payment in, which is 100,000. All right, so um, don't mind that equal symbol. It's just, it's cool. It just means, or you could look at it this way. It's just a visual thing. It helps. So plug in your P1, which is $450,000 into the this equation here. Multiply that by 0.2, which is the newcomer's share, and plug that result into excess bonus equation. And then you have 90 minus 100, and so it's a negative 10. That's the excess bonus. And what does that mean? Well, let's take a look at that. Uh, he paid in more. Here's his payment. It's greater than uh, the expected payment, like 20% of the, uh, the thing, the partnership. So he paid more. What does that mean? That means you have to distribute that excess bonus uh, to the other members. He doesn't get the bonus, sadly. This C person, this newcomer, he, they don't get that bonus. But the other members do, and they will appreciate it. Um, so since payment is greater than the expected payment, distribute the excess to the other members. And here you can see me doing that with a handy little graph. Here's a... Uh, Here's the answer to the question, what are the capital balances of all of them? So, Claudius's balance, that's that's very easy to find. We find it here, uh, 450 times 0.2, and that's 90. Uh, the other members, well, you just divvy up their share. It's, you had an excess bonus of 10, and you're giving it to them, so 10 times their share is 6. So add that, and that's M's balance, and do the same thing, 10 times 0.4 equals 4, add that to R's original capital balance, and then you have $144,000. There you go. You've, this is my last video.